Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna show y'all how to fix 5M with reshades because um, I had a problem and I see that a lot of other people had a problem as to when they went to 5M, it didn't come up at all. They tried to reinstall uh, reshades and it still didn't come up. So I found what 5M wants you to do now with reshade. So basically what uh, 5M wants you to do is that they want you to put all the shaders in the plugin folder for reshade. Now I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. Okay, so first, if you are downloading reshade for the very first time, I'm gonna start from the beginning. You're going to go to um, download. It's gonna bring you to this, uh, read it to the section of the page. Whatever version it is, um, it's gonna be the latest version, just download it. And it's going to go into your downloads folder. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go downloads folder, whatever version it is, it is. You wanna double click it. And um, here you're gonna see that GTA is not part of the list here. But honestly, you're not gonna do GTA. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do 5M instead. So you're gonna go to browse. And if you wanna find where the GTA folder is, you're going to um, right click on the link. You're gonna right click on um, this little icon here. You're gonna go to properties. And you're gonna open file location. This is the easiest way for me to actually find where 5M is on my computer because it is really deep in some files so you're going to just take this you can click on this right copy paste click this paste it here okay there you go and then you're gonna choose 5M EXE. You're gonna hit next. You're gonna select 10, 11, 12. You're gonna hit next again. Um, if you have a preset already, there are presets that you can download. You can just Google them. I don't, so I'm gonna hit skip. And then these uh, files here, you're going to hit uncheck and then check all to be able to check all of these filters. And I highly recommend doing that. So you're gonna hit next. It's gonna download everything. As you can see, it is putting the uh, reshade here. It's downloading the shaders. It's putting it here. You're gonna hit finish. All right, so at this point, what you're gonna do is, I'm just going to make this be the same window. So what 5M wants you to do is to basically take all the files, and you have to do this in order for it to work. Take the DXGI, take the reshade NIN, the log, and the reshade preset file. You're going to basically control X to cut it so you can move it. And you're gonna go into 5M, application data and these I already copied and pasted here so I'm not gonna do it again because just in case it may <laughs> it might mess me up so you're gonna go to uh, 5m application data you're gonna go to plugin and you're gonna copy and paste those files into here so let me go to my reshade right well, here here the log everything is in here so after you do that, I'm just gonna delete these. Cause like I said, I already did this. So I don't need that. All right, so what you're gonna do now is that um, now this for you, this folder will be empty. Just the files that you just copied over. So what you're gonna do next, you're gonna go to reshade and uh, filters. Now this part is really important because if you don't follow this, your, your shaders is not gonna work. It's not gonna show up at all. So you're gonna to go to shaders. You're gonna to go to the adaptive sharpen. 
you're going to select all of that, every single file. I'm going to delete it because I already have it, but you're basically going to copy and paste it and put it under plugins, just like I have here. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to every folder that is here. You're going to go inside the folder. You're going to copy with the folder that's there. You're going to copy every file that's in there. And I'm just going to delete it. But over here, as you can see, I have my one shot folder and then this they're in here somewhere. But what you're going to need to do is going to go into each of these folders, each of these shaders, copy and paste into the plugins folder. That's what reshade wants you to do. It wants you to instead of attaching reshade to the uh, GTA game, it wants you to attach it to 5M itself. And the only way you could do that is if you put it in plugins. So let me get over here to 5M so you can see what I mean. All right, so this is me. This is Sapphire. Um, so if you hit home, if you installed everything correctly, you should be able to hit home. You have all your um, information here, except for these. Unfortunately, I don't know what I did. Uh, undeclared identifier NC is for for these. So hopefully you won't need these, but. For the rest of the filters, they will be there for you to use. And there's a lot. So um, you should be able to use any of them to get back to your to your game. So this is what mine look like with the reshade. And then that's what it's off. Just to show y'all that my reshade actually does work since I put all the shaders into um, the 5M, 5M plugins folder. All right, so I hope this helped you out a lot. It was a lot of trial and error on my part because 5M kept on giving me an error message and I was going to check the error message. By the way, if you want to check an error message that 5M is giving you, hit your F8. And then you will see um, whatever it is, like um, it's refusing reshade because of blah, 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 or it's refusing the DXGI file, blah, 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 whatever that is. And that's the reason why you didn't follow the correct steps all the way from what I've done. So um, if you have any questions or concerns, just go ahead and like comment on down below. If you can't get it working, I'll help you out as best as I can um, to figure out what the problem is. But yeah, that should be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all get your reshades working and I hope y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all later.